Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a great Saturday morning here today. And I will be bringing you some Aravaki campaign for Hannibal at the Gates for Total War Rome 2. Now in the previous episode, this army here, the Champions of Trebaruna. I might rename this army actually. We defeated an army around here, the Lusitani. And we are now going to aim to try and take Ebora. Ebora should be pretty much open for me. Apart from this army here, but there's only one unit, one general unit, and he is depleted. Should be fairly easy to retake Ebora, and then we will set our sights on Olisipo. So first things first, I want to rename this army because I don't like that name. Champions of Treberuna. How about the Champions of Ebora? Seeing as we will hopefully be taking Ebora. And speaking of army names, the Hammer of Hermantic, we named that one ourselves previously. I'm fairly happy with that. And if you could think of any more cool army names, the next army that I raise, um, I will pick a comment, a winning comment out, and we can uh, pick that actual uh, name. <laughs> so, here we are. We have a battle. Oh, it should be too easy, shouldn't it? It should be easy. We're going to fight this, but I'm going to stop the recording here and go straight to the battle. Hello and welcome back to the battle map. So I cut out the loading screen, didn't see the point in including the loading screen, and I have set my troops up, all my infantry and my slingers on the left flank. My general is behind here, I have my two artillery units here, and my cavalry are all grouped up on the right flank. And we are actually hidden because of this big mountain over here, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. So we're going to bring our cavalry up the right flank in that case, and bring my main line forward as well, bring my general just behind and maybe I'll actually bring the artillery up as well just in case. I'm going to fast forward this, it's going to be a quick battle, should be fairly easy. My aim is to try to not suffer any um, unnecessary losses, that's my aim. Whether I do or not I have no idea. So we, they have 70 men in their unit, let's see if we can hit them with the with the ballista, oh, they will say, oh, that's over hit, that's terrible, that is terrible, try another shot, go a bit lower this time, maybe they, that looks, that looks better, ooh, maybe, ooh, maybe not, they're down to 66, we had a few shots on them, that's good, I'm going to go a lot lower this time, about there, oh, my aiming is terrible, ah, oh, man, Let's try about ooh there. Well, slightly better, still not quite. Anyway, we're not doing well as you can see. They're down to f ooh, they're losing lots of men though, which is good. My slingers are gonna join into the fray and can bring my cavalry around the flank as well. I don't want to take any unnecessary losses, like I said. If possible, we can pelt them with our missiles and my artillery. They should break any moment now. And I wouldn't have lost a man by doing it. There we go. Nice. Continue battle. Now we shall get my ballista to halt. Get my missiles to halt. And my cavalry are charging. We're going to fast forward this. There are 15 of them remaining. My cavalry can just mock them up. There we go. Decisive victory. Didn't lose anybody. That's what I wanted. Killed all 70 of them. That's the general dead. 2 minutes 51 seconds. Pretty happy with that. Ooh, into the face. And a slash. And the blood is leaking from his guts. And I shall... I don't think... Oh, I have 11 captured. We'll release them get good relations and my general can level up and we can go for oops wrong button I want to go for zeal this time around now next turn we can actually attempt to take a borer there are 11 in the garrison we are of course under strength so we are going to need a couple of mercenary units so we'll get a unit of cavalry no actually no Split that a minute, we will go for a merge. There we go. 
and can we merge again? Nope, that's all we can merge. So we have less men, less uh, units, but we have more men in the units now. I want some Iberian swords, and I want a unit of cavalry, and a Scutari unit. Take two Scutari units. I will disband them once I've taken Ebora, but for now it's important that I have enough with me to be able to do that. I'm also going to try and poison their wells to weaken them even further. And we are successful. Excellent. So Ebora now, as you can see, much, weak, much uh, weaker than they were previously. This army can continue to move down here towards Olisipo. I will actually move my spy up before I move this army. So for now, this army can... Let me see. All of this is Lusitanian lands. The border, though, is up here somewhere, I think. Let's see. If this just goes, say, there. Get an idea of what they got. Quite a lot of men in there as a garrison, plus five there. So for now, I will just fortify my position there and then I'll try and take a Bora. but in the meantime we shall end turn and we'll see if anything interesting happens in this end turn phase I'm hoping that in the next well perhaps the next part or two that we can finally wipe out Lusitani I can then concentrate on my campaign management make sure that all the mercenaries are disbanded ooh peace peace negotiated research Make sure all my mercenaries are disbanded, and yeah, this, well, this, that's kind of why I'm going for all this civil stuff at the moment, just to make sure that we get as much wealth as we possibly can. Um, province growth would be beneficial. We we'll go with some growth. This army can now attack. Let's see how weak are they. Oh, they some of them are full strength again. That's a shame. Do I attack them now or not? Probably better take my agent up there. And while that's happening, we can try to take Abora ourselves. And huzzah! I could auto-resolve this, but I want to fight this, so I shall pause the video here and I shall go straight to the uh, battle map. Hello and welcome back. So, I have set my infantry up here. I've got my slingers just in front of them. By here, I have my Iberian swordsmen behind them. I have all my cavalry grouped up into one group. I have my ballistas here, and oh, I haven't moved my general yet. Put my general over here, just behind them. Start the battle. Hopefully we can take a few of them out. Now, unfortunately, I can't quite see the enemy yet, which is a bit of a shame. So what I'll do is bring my skirmishers forward just enough, just to there. Bring the main line behind them. Push up with the cavalry as well just in case but, but there we want them and my general of course we go on the left flank actually can't see them at the moment though we do outnumber them unit wise but they have, of course have many units which are full strength although not all of them because we did poison their wells in the previous turn nice little stonehenge type of thing here very nice Ooh, look at that smoke Someone smoking. <laughs> Very nice. Right. Oh, there they are. Excellent. Right. I'm happy to hold here. What do they have? They have lots of men. Some tribesmen. Let the tribesmen come out. Iberian swords can push up. I want to take control of my ballista and try and take one or two shots, although I'm not very good at, at shooting on this game. Let's see how we do. Damn. <laughs> Bounced off it. Oh my. Right, let's go a little bit wider and higher. That looks a lot better. That looks better. Yes, we took a few out. Like 10 pin bowling. Huzzah. I'm not sure if we're quite in the best of range where we are though. Anyway, we will come forward slightly. To just pass this kind of brush by here. I'm going to take my two Iberian swordsmen to fill behind them. 
with a wider line behind. These three back here are all going to be my reserve. With my general up here. I think my cavalry will be beneficial to go on this flank. Probably charge through here. Perhaps flank them. Seems like a possibility. While we continue to rain down death. So we'll try and go for another shot. We'll go for about there. And that doesn't look too bad. Oh my, it's good, it's good. Oh, just missed. Damn. About there. Over the tree. Over the tree. It seems to be just missing, but... Yeah, just missing. <sighs> anyway, let's, time, let's start the assault. So, let's go to this ridge here. Like so. Just bring everything forward. Forward march. Keep the reserve back there. Keep the general nearby so I can use my, my war cry if needed. Cavalry. Let's come around to the right flank. We're going to charge straight through once they come forward. Should be able to hit one of their tribesmen units, try to weaken them if possible. Slingers. My slingers are not quite in range. Let's bring them forward again. Ooh, Pathfinder's playing up about there perhaps. We shall see. Now I think we're in range more or less. And this unit's actually, well, decimated almost. 22 remaining. And now my slingers are firing. Here they are. Men of Iberia, you shall sling for glory. They can aim for the tribes moment which are there. Artillery can hit, hit, hit or try to aim for. We could actually hit the slingers up here. They're going to pro prove to be a bit of a problem up there, I think. So maybe we can go for the slingers. Let's see. Let's see if I can hit the slingers. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Get someone. Ooh, right in the ghoulies. That's not gonna, not gonna do uh, him any favors. Ready for, Ready for the battle? Are they in range of slinging me? I don't think they are. Fresh taking fire. Eager damage by artillery. That's okay. Some of my cavalry are hidden as well. So what we will do now? Continue to sling the tribesmen. I'm gonna fast forward this because. Yeah, it's a bit, bit boring. 95, again reduced. We're gonna bring, let's bring these three units in. Where they gone? I hope they're charging me. Let's go back to normal speed. My slingers have decided to charge forward without command. Let's just throw everything in now. Let's show them how it's done in Iberia. Do these units have war cry or one of them do? No nope, frenzy, that's what I meant. Frenzy. We'll stick frenzy onto the right click. And while they're doing that, we shall charge. Cavalry shall charge. Oh, and, and it appears I'm out of ballista ammunition. So we're attacking them on two sides. Should be okay. We have a couple of full units. My cavalry is going to cause some mischief in the centre now as well. Cavalry charge! Huzzah! Straight into them. I'm going to have to pull out straight away I think though. Yes, that'll do. Pull out. That will hold them up. Hold them up nicely for my men to charge in now. There we go. We'll start the route. We're actually going to send a couple of units up there as well. My slingers going to go for their slingers. And my reserves are all going to go for the. Uh, their slingers up there. My general can come into the battle as well. Cavalry's pulled out. Cavalry can push back in and we are routing the hell out of them at the moment. And it looks like their general has appeared. What is he? He is a swordsman. Shouldn't be too difficult then. In that case, let's go straight for the swordsman. My god, we have routed them all. Cavalry, up here please. Right, this is what we do. We send them all up there. Everybody's charging. <laughs> and Ebora should be ours again. Pretty soon, I hope. Charge. Charge. Kill them all. General will.
charge up there. Oh, we wrapped in. That's not good. General. War cry. Frenzy charge. You can charge over there. Kill the skirmishers. You can charge over there. Kill the skirmishers over there. Noble cavalry. This battle is easily won, I think. They're all routed. My cavalry's done a pretty good job. Let's see how many kills they got. 103, 85, 35, 12. And some of my infantry did a lot better, actually. Get my general in on the skirmishers. Ah, there we go. Victory. End battle. Decisive victory. And Ebora is back under our control. Excellent. Some good news. Battle duration 8 minutes 22. Let's see. 157 one of my cavalry units had. Thought they did quit pretty well. He is dead. Bleeding. Guts everywhere and we shall occupy. Ebora is ours again. Huzzah. My men are replenishing. I can actually spend some money on upgrading some of these units as well, which I will be doing shortly. Let's see. Uh, upgrade, 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 upgrade. Actually, do I want to upgrade these? These are mercenaries. I probably shouldn't. Hmm. I will leave it a turn anyway. This army has been routed and they are running away with the tail between their legs. I'm all. Uh, in fortified stance over here and then in the next turn I will aim to try and take Elisipo so I hope you've enjoyed this episode I have been Dragonheart until next time goodbye